and the lovely second lady, Samira Baumia, acting national chairperson and national officers, the chief of staff and officials of the presidency, the chairperson and members of the MPP National Council of Elders, senior minister, minister for parliamentary affairs, and leadership of the majority in Parliament, Ministers of State, Deputy Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, Members of the National Council, Regional Chairpersons and Regional Officers, Constituency Chairpersons and Constituency Officers, Members of the External Branches, Delegates, Fellow Ghanaians, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very happy we could meet today to do the unfinished business of our annual delegates conference in Cape Coast. There the decision was made to hold this conference with a one-item agenda, amendments to our constitution. But when I was coming here, I wasn't sure that I was coming to the proper place. I thought I was coming to the National Officers Election Conference when I see all the things that are going on around here. But I want to take the opportunity to congratulate the party leadership, the National Officers, especially our hard-working Acting General Secretary for being able to organize this conference. With the mandate of the National Delegates Conference, the National Council set up a committee to harmonize the various amendments for easy consideration by this conference. The committee has done a good job and their work has been circulated to all of you. We're grateful to our first Vice Chairman, Frederick Fabia Anto, and the members of his committee for this excellent job that they have done. The work has been presented in such a manner that it should be relatively easy for us to deal with it expeditiously. Today is a sacred day in my life. It is my late mother, Yabuakuya's birthday. So I am sure that this is going to be a happy and lucky day for us. Hopefully, we're going to work in a consensual manner as befits a ruling party that won a great victory a year ago and has been in office for almost a year. A year which has been full of important achievements which have won the admiration of the nation. We have fulfilled our free senior high school pledge and our determination to revive the National Health Insurance Scheme and the country's agriculture. It is clear already that the program for planting for food and jobs is a success and is going to be an even greater success in the year 2018. We've also had important challenges, the invisible and delta forces, and the tensions at the grassroots of our party because over jobs. I appreciate very much the anxiety about jobs. What I'm saying is that the foundation has been laid for jobs. It has not been easy because we inherited a bankrupt economy but because of the ingenuity of the people I'm working with, we've been able to lay a good foundation. 